Hello D Nation and welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be unboxing a replica of the BMW K1200 LT which is a 118 scale diecast motorcycle replica manufactured by Welly. And I'm going to be showing you the features and the specifications of this amazing diecast motorcycle replica. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. So before we get to the good stuff, let's take a quick look at the boxing as always. This BMW K1200 LT diecast motorcycle replica comes in a BMW affiliated window type box which is a standard boxing by Welly. So as you can see, bang in the middle on the base plate this model comes on is the Welly logo alongside the name of this model which is the BMW K1200 LT and on this bottom corner of the packaging you will see the Welly logo alongside the BMW branding and on this top corner you would see the scale of this replica which is a 118 scale and on the top of the box is the BMW branding and on the sides of the box you will find the Welly logo and the BMW branding along with the graphic of the BMW motorcycle which is pretty much the same on the back and on the other side as well. And finally on the bottom of the packaging you will find quite a bit of legal information regarding this diecast model so kindly pause if you want to take a read. So with no further ado let's get this opened. So to begin with my first thoughts about this diecast replica is that it has quite a good and sturdy build quality and made of diecast for the most part with a few components made of ABS plastic with some good details which are standard with the Welly motorcycle replicas for the most part. And I should admit that this model looks quite amazing and almost looks like its real life counterpart. And the sculpt, the details and finish on this replica is amazing and sure will make a good addition to your collection. So getting down to a few features and specifications, this BMW Super Touro motorcycle replica comes with a black and silver chassis with a golden color scheme which is prominent all throughout this model along with some black accents, minimalistic BMW decals and branding. This replica comes with a silver steerable front fork that contrasts with the rest of the color theme on this replica. And this model also comes with a well detailed and massive tourer style headlight unit which has a visor, a pair of front turn signals, a speedometer and air vents with grills on both sides that are in a metallic silver with the BMW logo on both sides with the model branding which overall has that signature BMW super tourer look to it. And this unit flows into an all black handlebar with a pair of hand grips and a pair of clutch and brake levers. Moving down is a two-tone gold and black front fender that wraps around a beautiful silver alloy style wheel and a rubber tire with a double disc brake unit which is in chrome. And moving on to the midsection, this fuel tank is well sculpted and painted in gold with some fabrication in black which seamlessly flow together as a single unit. And moving down to the heart of this ride lies a beautiful and well detailed engine sculpt which is fully wrapped around with a well detailed tourist style front firing and comes with a single exhaust which is in chrome with the rest of the midsection components blacked out. And talking about the seat, it's a tourist style double seat with a backrest which is in black that flows into a well sculpted tailpiece unit which has two side boxes with a pair of rear turn signals and the BMW branding on them. And you will also see a rear storage box with the BMW logo on the back along with the antenna and these components flow together as one tailpiece unit along with the tail light and a number plate as well. And the rear wheel setup is just the same as the front but comes with a chain and sprocket unit along with the chrome single disc brake unit. And just so you know the rear wheel setup comes with quite a bit of suspension unlike the front which is rigid. And this model comes with free rolling wheels and a center kickstand in case you want to display it. And as far as the specs go, this replica measures in at 4.5 inches in length, 3 inches in height, 2.5 inches in width 
and weighs in approximately at about 110 grams which are standard 118 scale motorcycle specs. And if I was to find something that's just not right on this replica, it will be the model branding which is on the front firing which as shown is the K1000R I guess but marketed as the BMW K1200LT. So if anyone has a clue regarding this mix up, please do let me know in the comments below. So overall this is a beautiful die cast replica with some awesome details and is a definite must have for any die cast motorcycle collector or hobbyist especially if you are a BMW enthusiast. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features, specifications and the best buy link for this die cast replica in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's place this amazing and well detailed BMW replica on the D-Nation dyno and check out its wheel spin and its functionality. Well, the functionality seems to be perfect and just as beautiful as the highly detailed exteriors and this BMW motorcycle replica gets a massive thumbs up from me for its looks as well as for its functionality. So with that being said, let's place this amazing die cast replica on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this die cast beauty in a 360 degree view and stay tuned for some fun facts on the BMW K1200LT coming up. The BMW K1200LT, where the L stands for Luxus and T stands for Tourer, is a 1998 available to 2009 Touring motorcycle from BMW. As a motorcycle in the Super Tourer category, the K1200LT was positioned as a competitor to the Honda Goldwing among others. The first version of the K1200LT was already extensively equipped from the Berlin Spandau factory. The standard equipment included, for example, cruise control, reversing aid activated by the starter, onboard computer, radio and cassette combination, and an electrically adjustable windshield. In contrast to the previous model, the non-removable case system with top case and two side cases has a storage space of around 120 litres. With standard equipment, the optional CD changer reduces the storage space in the right case by a few litres. The curb weight, however, added up to over 385 kgs. The possible payload is 213 kgs. And for further information on the BMW K1200LT, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this amazing BMW K1200LT replica, I dropped the Best Buy link in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also do please let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts about this amazing BMW diecast replica. And I would like to thank all my D Nation subscribers and followers for your constant support and feedback and it is much appreciated. So kindly continue to support D Nation by liking and sharing our content and please do check out the rest of the 112 scale and the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes in the playlist below. And this brings us to the end of this diecast motorcycle episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, a like, comment and share would be much appreciated. And kindly support D-Nation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. Also do follow us at dnation.in on Instagram for daily diecast previews and updates and stay tuned for all new diecast motorcycle episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one.